A year ago in this lab, Rebecca Hickman was by herself running tests that she and her colleague Tracy Lee created just weeks earlier. I had taken to the habit of watching the test run because I was so afraid of getting a positive. And there it was, that dreaded spike on the graph, the first case of COVID-19 in BC. My first feeling was sheer terror from a uh, personal point of view. Uh, but from a professional point of view, it was relief uh, because to uh, design, validate and implement a molecular laboratory test usually takes months, if not years. And so to do that in the span of days is a huge achievement. She worked until midnight to verify the findings. And the next day, Dr. Bonnie Henry confirmed to British Columbians the virus was here. Late last night, we had a confirmation of a presumptive positive here in BC. It has been a tumultuous year for everyone. The workload in these labs, unprecedented. Doing that kind of uh, increased testing has been one of the bigger challenges. Just the logistics of getting that many samples tested in a timely manner. The only constant has been change. This virus keeps on keeping us on our toes. Mel Krejden has been leading the labs here at the BC CDC and shows us around the hallways that are packed to the rim with boxes full of supplies. Given the global supply chains, where normally people would be ordering things just in time, we have basically converted to uh, purchasing large amounts of materials so that we uh, don't run out of uh, all of the components to do the various tests. Shortages in supply have been a major issue. Early in the pandemic, there weren't enough supplies to do tests. And even now, with bigger, faster machines to do mass testing, they're held back. We barely have reagents to run these machines at this time. But testing is only one part of the equation. BC, once hailed for its response to the virus, has been seeing triple-digit cases for months. If I think back on some of the things, uh, I would have probably uh, tried to come in with more stricter re uh, restrictions in, in October when we were actually doing OK. Um, but uh, we had a rapid increase. Um, uh, and, you know, it, it's all about human nature as well. So it, it is very challenging. There have been some hard lessons and losses with deadly outbreaks at long-term care homes and hospitals. And for everything we've learned about the virus, there is more we don't know. What also happened is this virus then uh, throws another curveball, and that curveball is these variants. This lab now has its eyes set on the next challenge, testing for the new COVID-19 variants.